If you need your data, come to Dr. Ben. Come to Dr. Ben, yo. Today, we just get data out of an iPhone 8 logic board, people. The logic board is completely corroded. So we have corrosion all over the board. And data is pretty important. And the problem is that we have a lot of corrosion. We have corrosion on Trinity. This is a swap case and Dr. Ben is going to fix that baby boomy. Reball this CPU. But what I see here, Tim, I see something. Oh, and a schluck of beer. And we start the video. Hi, people. Boomy. Oh. <laughs> nice. So what can we do? Why do we swap the board in this case? Because you see I already prepared a swap board, swap board for that. So we have several circuits on this board. So we have a circuit which generates uh, uh, 35 volts um, for um, the backlight of the screen. And we have um, circuits which generate CPU voltage. And this is uh, 0.9 volt and things like that. So. If we would work on such a board and only remove corrosion and things like that and then try to boot the board, it always can happen that you give a headshot to the CPU. That is something we don't want to do. We want to uh, have the highest success rate for data. And in this case, we just need to swap the parts which we need for data. And this is the NAND, the CPU under this shield here, and the logic EEPROM, which is integrated in Trinity. Let's directly go. <coughs> I show to you under the microscope where the problem is. And the problem is that we have a lot of corrosion through the whole board. So you can see corrosion here in this area where we have located the backlight circuit, where we have located image things. Here, where we have located some RF shit. Here, where we have located some charging shit. Here, we have the main um, PMU. Here, we have the baseband PMU. And we have corrosion everywhere. So why should we waste time here in this case? This is a swap case and Dr. Ben is going to fix that baby boomy. So, let's directly go. What we do first is just open up this motherboard holder and Tim likes if I say bad words because he has to cut <laughs> to cut a lot <laughs> last time it was like <laughs> I drink a schluck of beer <laughs> okay let's directly start Dr. Ben wants to get data out of this board and therefore we need Dr. Ben, Dr. Ben. Yes, yo. Who was working on my place, Tim? Andy. Ah, oh, critical, critical Andy. So, we just got off the shield on the front side. And we take a wipe, or a wife, like you want. <laughs> Uh, okay, here we are. Here we have the CPU. We need the CPU because in the CPU there is a key. Okay, a key which you need to come into the NAND. And you need the Logic EEPROM or Logic EEPROM data. You can copy them if you want out of the Logic EEPROM. And on the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus, the Logic EEPROM is integrated in Trinity, so we will get out the parts we need and get them to a known good working board, which Dr. Ben already has prepared, okay? So, let's have a look. I, I was working at my table and today I did a lot of devices. It, it was like, I'm here since today in the morning, 7.30 and I just finished devices today. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 15 devices I finished until now. And we just start by getting out the parts which we need for data. 
and I don't give a f about all the parts around, you know that. So I knock them away like that because I only need some parts here, so knock them away. Oh, this feels pretty nice, like you're going into a baby. Boomy. One, the end. Second part, which which part do we take now, Tim? The CPU. The mother CPU. So we don't need the parts around. So I just get them away to come in here. By the way, I'm getting 40 years next year. Crazy or not? Pretty crazy, yeah. But I still feel like a teenager. Hope you make it until 40. Huh? I hope you make it until 40 and don't die of cancer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is what I hope too. Done. Got out the CPU here. And now, what do we do now, Tim? Tim doesn't know. We take off. Do you see we we have corrosion on Trinity? And we got it off, baby boomy. So this is what we need. These parts we need for that recovery. So in general, what you see here now is just data of this phone. So, okay, we should start by, by doing what, Tim? Cleaning the, the Shut up. We need to remove the clue around the CPU. By the way, it is bad to say mother is this something which is bad? It's bad for the YouTube algorithm. And oh. You push the video as hard if you say it. <laughs> Sorry. Hello, my name is Dr. Ben and I want to show you how to swap a board, okay? So we have to take the clue around the CPU like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I just stop that, Tim. Now I just stop that, okay. We need to get the clue away. So CPU looks like, um, normally, my back hurts terrible. Normally, um, it's like that you have more clue on the CPU, or not normally, so sometimes, that, that sounds better. Sometimes you have more clue on the CPU, sometimes you have less clue on the CPU. In this case now, we don't have much clue on the CPU, so most of the, uh, of the clue stayed on the board. That's pretty fine for us because we have less work for cleaning the CPU, okay? That's pretty fine. And we just take a little solar ball, like the little balls. <clears throat> okay, uh, I, I just have to stop that. I just wanted to, to start at this but it was like I, I only make jokes, okay? You know that this isn't this isn't really a bad intention. It's just about joking. So we don't want to get an overheated CPU. So we just try to be as fast as possible. And what we do here is just on the CPU normally. We have 183 solder and we just add 138 solder. Why do we do that, Tim? We low down the melting point of the solder which is on the CPU to clean it in a safe way. And if you want to learn how to do that, in live mode every day you can book a course here a training at rescue and we will show you and i will show you how this works okay 
Always remember this is a video. You don't see everything you need for doing that. We try to give you as much information as we can do for free. But if you want really to learn how to do that, you can just book a course. And after that you will be a really good CPU technician. So, we need to take off the clue. Gently. The surface of the CPU needs to be handled in a gently way. I think you should subscribe to the channel and you should give a thumbs up because Tim really invests a lot of time here and if you subscribe to the channel give thumbs up and help to make the channel bigger by the way 60% of you guys watching are not subscribed I can see this So, okay, what do we see here, Tim? A small part. Damn. Damn. Not a problem. Okay. And we clean. Just heat up a little bit. Now we just use something for clean and we take away the rest of glue on the CPU. This looks fine Tim. I hope that you can see it nice on the cam. So. Okay, by the way, what do you want to see on the channel? If you have any interesting ideas, what is interesting for you? Just give me a comment here under the video. We will check the comments and we will do what you want to see. Not a problem at all. But therefore you need to give us a comment and you need to subscribe the channel. So we have about 900 videos online between 8 and 900. And we are really thinking about what we can do as a new content for you. More content which you didn't ever seen before. And therefore we need just your opinion and your comment to see how we can get that for you. So, you see, we have removed the clue here in this situation, what is pretty fine. <clears throat> and um, now we just need to clean the CPU again. Therefore we just need to go over with a bowl of solder. Tim is waiting for a bad word, but he, he doesn't get one. So, we need to clean the CPU. Tell me if you like how this CPU looks. Just give me a comment, because comments are always important for us. Just to see what do you think about our work here? Is it right, Tim, or not? Yes, sir. I hate this dispenser here. Mine is pretty better. So, okay. Cleaned, and I think this looks really awesome. 
like a fresh shave. And one more time again, because some balls are still bigger than others, but only in one or two areas. And I just want to do it perfectly for you here in the video. Okay, that's nice. Tim, please yeah. get another flutz for me so I can work. It's all filled with water, by the way, guys. Mm. So, okay. The CPU looks fine. So, the CPU looks really perfect. Um, we can just clean up the NAND. The NAND is like, if you want to understand, it's like a HDD or SSD. And there are the data stored on, but it's not like you can read data. You need to have other components to get access to data and the phone needs to be fully booting and you need the right code to unlock the device. Otherwise, we should have to brute force that. On this device, it's possible, but this was ta would take a lot of money. So, always try to, to remember your code, because we had a lot of people already. They mail in devices, like iPhone 7 was laying at the crown of the sea for a long time. We need the important data out of the phone and they give a code and then we are done with the swap and we can use the code and the code is wrong and then we call the customer and say hey your code is wrong the customer says oh i don't remember the right code now so we have to brute force and brute force takes money and it's not possible on all devices so just always remember that you need to have the right code Okay, this is something we don't need to reball because we just swapped the fringe chip um, without a reball and I need toilet paper to. So, we just need to get a reball for the mother CPU. We have an A11, it's a beauty of a CPU, like me, a beauty of a man. And um, yeah, I just need to get the right stencil now. So, this is Tim. This is <laughs> like my whole table looks like mother and I, I don't like it at all but really I do so many CPU works and so many other other things it's yeah I just oh here we here we were or not yeah okay here we got the right stencil in my head I was already on the next video so next video is Google Pixel for a board swap and I was searching for stencil which I can use with that but here it's all about <sighs> iPhone 8 A11 let's go so we have a clean CPU surface, that's pretty fine. So we need to get in paste. Paste to the stencil on top of the CPU. And before we need to check that our stencil is pretty clean. And I saw something which I don't like. It was one point of dirt. So we have to remove that and then we can just start with the repo. So that's fine. So and we add solar paste. Going like that. Okay, we got the paste into the stencil. 
use a finger. Normally, I use this finger to get it in. <laughs> <laughs> no, <clears throat> sorry. Okay. Now we use the finger to get in the paste, and after that, we just reball this CPU. But what I see here, Tim, I see something. What do you see? Which I doesn't like, which I don't like, which I doesn't like, which I don't like. It was just a little paste, a little bit of paste missing here. So, but now we are fine. Oh, watch that. Nice reball. But I feel like this is my new GBC here, a JBC here in this room. And I feel like that it isn't calibrated from factory in the right way. I always feel it's like it has more power than it should have on the temperature. So I will check that tomorrow. But if you feel it, it's okay. Here we have the CPU, looks pretty clean. We add some flux. We add some hot air. Done. Nice. Looks pretty perfect, I think. So we can get the CPU to here and we take the NAND, the storage chip, the HDD like ever, SSD. What do we want to call it? It's just a storage chip. I just want to say it with easy words so you can understand what we do. So we get paste into the stencil and to the chip. Remove the stencil and add hot air. Done. Add flux. So, and we have CPU done, we have NAND done. And now it's all about swapping the Trinity chip with the Logic EEPROM to the new board. Okay, so we just solder down now. Hope you can see everything. Need to be fast to don't do any damages to the chip. And you see it moves, and that's pretty fine. So we have Logic Ibrom with Trinity on the new board. Now we need to get down the NAND chip. So have a look for A1 on the right top. That's pretty fine. And let's go! Let's solder down the NAND. Done. Done. 
and we need to solder down the CPU. The most important part starts now. We need to solder down the CPU. Control if the board is clean. If all the pads are flat, that's pretty important too. Then just get down your CPU. Right position. So, like that. And then we just need to solder down. Let's go! And wait until the flux comes out at the sides. Here we are, done. And you see we work with a little bit more temperature now because we are really fast in what we do. Have a look from the side. And we can see the balls look fine. We go up with the microscope just to show you the balls from the side here. Looks all well connected. So now we need to see if this board wants to perform a boot again. So we connect here, we get the output ready and we start just by trying to get a boot. The board is hot, so let's see for the value. Value looks fine. So we just need to take a screen. Oh, but this screen I showed to you under the microscope. I don't want to use. Do you see that here? Corrosion everywhere. So I just need to get a new screen for the iPhone 8. Can you ask Andy if he can give you a screen for the iPhone 8? Would be pretty fun. Oh, thanks a lot, Tim. That's pretty nice. So we just connect this one and this one. And we need to activate the output for the battery voltage. And after that, we just need to go to pin one here. And then we have an Apple baby! That's it! iPhone 8 board swap for data recovery after really bad, really, really bad corrosion damage on this. I tried to show to you like that on this motherboard here. Device boots. Tim needs to blur the screen. And uh, I think we are fine or not, Tim? So here you can see we can use the touch. So it's personal background image, two kids in the background. I don't want to show that in the video. That's sure. But here you can see we can use the touch again. All is fine. Data is safe. Dr. Ben did it again. I hope you subscribe to the channel. I'm out and we see us with the next one. And don't forget to try Flötzinger Hell, the best beer in the world. I'm out. Goodbye. Yeah.